感じで。あの。Today I will be making salami chu krung the kuan batambong style. I will be using oxtail, beef tender, and beef honeycomb. Batambong style, they use holy basil, which、um, other province they normally don't use. So today ingredients, I will be using water spinach. This is water spinach, or you can call it morning glory. And then this is the holy basil. And then this is a young tamarind leaf. It's nice and fresh. You can see. And then I will be using jalapeno peppers, and this is optional. And if you don't have it or you don't like it, you can leave it out. And here is my oxtail. It's already rinsed and cleaned under hot water already. And then my beef tender is already、uh, sliced into small pieces. And then my honeycomb beef. You want to pre-cook this so you can get rid of the smell. And I roughly. Chop it in big size. Okay, start by、um, do, doing your lemongrass. Slice it very finely, and then you're going to put it into your mortar. And then I'm using about 20 kaffir lime leaf. This will give a nice, very citrus smell to your paste. And we're going to finely、uh, uh, shred this or、um, cut it very fine. The finer you cut it, when you pound it in your mortar, it'll Make your job a lot faster, and do the same thing with the gallon gall, and just finally,、um, yeah, chop like、uh, chop it like that, and then you can go to,、um, do that the same thing to your turmeric. I like to use a lot of turmeric because this give it a very nice yellow color to your paste, and also a nice aroma. Okay, the salam matukrung. Um, tastes delicious if you have all the ingredients. The more garlic you put, the more turmeric you put, it will make your paste very、uh, romic, and you know make your soup very、um, delicious as, as well. Okay, so once you、uh, slice up all the ingredients, just put in your mortar, and we're going to smash this until it turns into a paste. And it takes me about 15 minutes or so, and、um, after that, just leave that aside, and then we're gonna go on to work on the vegetable. With the water spinach,、uh, cut the tip off, and then、uh, gently kind of、uh, pound it or smash it, so the stem kind of break even or break apart. This will、uh, allow all the flavors to soak well into the spinach. I mean the water spinach. Okay, so separate the stem and the leaf, and、um, if you want it to do nice, you can、uh, do one by one. You know, basically just、um, smash the stem and then pick apart the stem and then separate the leaf. Okay, this is how you would clean your um, um, your water spinach. Okay, and this is how you would want to、uh, clean the tamarind leaf. Basically, just pull off the tender leaf and don't take the stem. Cause it's gonna be a little chewy. Okay, that's how you clean the tam、uh, remove the tamarind leaf. The tamarind leaf is a sour. We have never had it. Okay, this is holy basil. I really like holy basil. It's a very uh, uh, fragrance. Uh, I smell like、um, basil, but it's a little bit more strong. Okay, so after you finish all the cleaning the vegetable and everything, now we're gonna start by cooking our krung. Which is the paste. First, we're gonna stir fry it. This will allow、um, the grill to release the nice aroma of the lemongrass, the kaffir lime leaf, and everything in there. See, that's how it looks like. It's so、um, beautiful. It's so yellow. I like、um, my salami to grill, like you know the yellow color. The turmeric is what make it、um, give it the nice yellow. And you're going to use all of it. This will make the soup very delicious. Okay, you're going to give this a mix for about two minutes or so, so it turn like a little bit crispy on the edge. And then you want your meat to be on a medium、um, high or so, not too high. Okay, so we're almost ready to、um, add in、um, the meat. 
lên hai dạng đặt sạch dưới cái này cái bầy cô môn ok first we're going to add the oxtail ok and then next this is the beef tender um, all these are uh, cut in advance already and then um, just give that a good mix so it um, mix well with the krung um, look at that nice and um, colorful and also um, smell so delicious I like to make salama chukrung my kids like it too okay then next we're going to add in the beef honeycomb see the beef honeycomb I chop a little bit big because once it's cooked it's going to shrink to um, a smaller size, maybe half of the size of that. Okay, continue to mix everything. And then we're going to add in our ingredients. The first thing go going is the fish sauce. And then we are going to add in the um, prahok paste. Um, Salama chukrung, we use prahok. You have to have prahok. Okay, and then this is a chicken soup mix and then the salt. Okay. Okay, give it a few toss and then we're going to add one whole package of the tamarind soup mix. This is what makes the soup sour. I'm going to use the whole package and if you're going to make a smaller pot, just um, do half. And if you um, don't have the soup mix in Cambodia, they normally use um, the young uh, green tamarind. That's what makes the soup sour. Okay, now we're going to mix everything until um, the beef and the oxtail everything all become tender and look how it come um, the water i did not add any water it was from the meat so we're going to cook this until all the water evaporate okay so now here the water is all evaporate but my meat is still not tender so i'm going to add in more water um, normally i normally just you know estimate it i fill the water up so it cover the meat but here i'm going to measure it out for you guys I use about um, four cups of water, and um, my mom normally do the, do this. Um, she would put water in her um, mortal, and then she would mix it, and that would get um, the rest of the grung in the mortal. Okay, and then we're going to dump that into our pot. Yes, get every piece of it because uh, what make the Soup good is the krung. Okay, now we are going to let this evaporate again until um, the water almost gone. See, I told you I use four cups. That's four cup. It goes to one quart and it goes to one liter. So yeah, I dumped the rest of the water into there. Okay, now we're just gonna let that cook until it evaporate. Okay, now it's evaporated, and um, well, there's a little bit um, water left, but it's okay. Now I'm going to first add in my jalapeno okay the jalapeno um, is spicy and and also give it a nice sweet and it's not hot until you break it apart yes there uh, mix it and then now we're going to add in the water spinach i'm going to add in the stem first so um, give that a few toss so everything kind of uh, you know uh, well down a little bit and then we're going to add in um, the other uh, vegetable. Okay, so just give it a few toss. Yeah, this is my favorite soup. I like salama chukrung. It's delicious. It's healthy. It's good for your digestive system and um, the whole nine yard. And it tastes good too. Okay, so I'm going to load down uh, my heat a little bit. And then I'm going to add in the leaf of the um, water spinach it seems a lot but when it's cooked everything's gonna shrink um, to very small okay now we're going to add in the young tamarind yes this is um, very delicious at all of it okay you guys request uh, to how to make salama chukrung so this is it um, give me it all. I'm using all the ingredients that I know that would taste, uh, that would go well with this soup. And here's last, the holy basil. Yes, continue to mix all your vegetable uh, until 
all your seasoning, all your grill, everything, you know, mix with the vegetable. Okay, don't worry, we will add the water in just a bit. Okay, so now here come the water part. Normally, again, I would just estimate the water, you know, just eyeball it out. Uh, so the water will cover, you know, my vegetable and my meat. Okay, that's in Cambodian cooking, we normally don't measure. But, you know, I, I measure out for you guys. So that was four cups of water. Now here, I add another four cups of water. So that's a total of eight cups of water. You don't want to add too much water because the vegetable, it's contained um, a lot of water already. So when you cook, more water is going to come out. Okay, our soup is almost done. We're going to let this come to a boil. And when it does come to a boil, like this one, we're going to continue cooking it until your jalapeno become tender. That's how you know your vegetable, I mean your vegetable, your soup is ready. Okay, so we are almost done. Yay. All right. It's almost time to eat. Well, actually, I'm going to give it the final taste first uh, to make sure everything, you know, is all good. And uh, yep, it is for me. But for you guys, you know, if you need more salt, go ahead and add salt. If you need something more sour, add more tamarind um, soup mix. It's, it's all up to you. Okay, so now my family is about to eat dinner. So it's all ready. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to scoop some oxtail. Okay, this is to um, the one that requests on how to make, um, how to cook oxtail. Oxtail, you can do a soup. Um, or you can do a kilometer grung like I'm doing right now. So I hope uh, you guys like this video. You know, um, there's a lot of way to cook the oxtail and this is one way. Okay, now I'm feeding my family and my kids love salamachu krung, especially my baby here. Look at her. <laughs> she is so adorable <laughs> and mean <laughs> and a cutie pie. Okay, this is the final taste and look at that. That's a good part. The vegetable. I love the vegetable. Mmm, it's so delicious. You know, you like salami chukrung? This recipe, you know, won't go wrong. Just follow the step that I did. Okay, so that is it for our video on how to make salami chukrung button bong style. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, share, and especially subscribe if you haven't do yet. So until the next video, thank you, uh, take care, and bye-bye.